What, Laurent, are you crazy? Isn't it your business to actually open a company in Hong Kong? Yes, it is, but during our experience in Latin Asia, we realized that some profiles, some people should really consider whether they should open the company in Hong Kong or not. And here are five reasons why you should not open your company in Hong Kong. The first one, you are too small. We have clients that, came to, that come to see us, they didn't start a business yet, they don't have the business model yet, they don't have even the proof of concept. They just think they will start a business and they believe it will be big, you know, and they think, oh, we should go to Hong Kong directly. But you know what, before coming here, before spending the money to open the company, to come to Hong Kong, to try to, uh, to convince a banker, you know, to get your trip here, I mean, I will tell you, you will have fun passing through Hong Kong, like for holiday, but let's face it, if, if you are starting a business, you want to save every penny. And sometimes, you know, people just move too soon. You should look around your, um, your area, in your country. Uh, most of the time, there is some, some program for SMEs, there is program for small entrepreneurs, and, and you can start without paying heck of tax. Plus, when you start, you don't make much profit anyway. You know, it's more about reinvesting and everything. So check first in your local jurisdiction if you're starting a new business. Um, whether you have you have some structure that can help you, I'm thinking for the French, for example. I know they have uh, the micro uh, uh, micro entreprise, which is a special program for them, and these exist in many different countries. Almost every country, every jurisdiction has a program such as this one. So check first, and then later, maybe when you start to grow and you need to optimize, you need to grow, you need a more international structure. Then you could come to Hong Kong and you could install your business here. The second reason, you want to stay home. Okay, so if you want to open a, a company in Hong Kong and you don't plan to have a permanent establishment, which means you don't plan to have an office with, with staff in here, with a local director, with basically you just want to have an empty shelf in Hong Kong to tax optimize and you want to stay home, this is a bad idea. You will have problem in the future in your own uh, jurisdiction because, because at the end of the day, most of the country will consider your Hong Kong structure as a, a local structure okay when i mean local is from your local jurisdiction not from hong kong so you have to consider if you don't want to move from your country and you don't plan to open a permanent establishment somewhere then maybe hong kong is not for you yet okay three you expect to pay no tax you heard all these consultants and and sometimes even some government website Although now that Hong Kong is not doing it too much, I have to admit, but in the past it was a bit different. But now you will see consultant, accountant, everything telling you, oh, come to Hong Kong, it's 0% tax, no offshore tax, etc. Well, it's not really the way it works. No, uh, if you wonder how the offshore tax exemption works exactly, uh, we can put some, some link in the description below because I, I won't cover the whole thing now. But you need to know in Hong Kong, uh, the taxation is 8.25, uh, sorry, 8. 0.25 percent on your um, profit if you make less than two million Hong Kong dollars, and 16.5 percent on the remaining amount. So if you make more than two million Hong Kong dollars, this is the normal uh, local rate. Now, yes, Hong Kong has a territorial-based taxation system, and there is a system called offshore tax exemption, the the claim that you can make for uh, your offshore profit. But it's not super simple. Uh, as I said, check in the description below if you're interested. But it's not just 0% tax, it's not that simple. So if this is your main reason to come to Hong Kong, uh, you have to do more homework. Four, you expect the company to maintain itself, okay? So one thing you have to understand is Hong Kong is not the BVI, it's not Seychelles, it's not Cayman Island, it's not uh, these tax heaven jurisdiction where you file the company every year you pay a fee and you are done hong kong is a genuine business jurisdiction which means that every year you have to maintain the company uh, legally pay your br etc same as uh, the cayman island or bvi etc but also you have to do uh, a proper accounting and get it audited by a certified public accountant and this has a cost and uh, and it Beside the monetary cost, there is also a time cost. So you have to be aware that if you come here, there will be uh, some cost for the accounting and for the maintenance. And some people sometimes think that, oh no, it's Hong Kong, it's offshore, it's fine. 
No, no need to do anything, just open the company. And some consultants actually don't tell their clients that after there is a maintenance and there is accounting. So be careful about that. Uh, Hong Kong is a great genuine business jurisdiction, but uh, there is some compliance to do. And if you, if you want to do it, for sure, uh, we are here to help. Five, uh, you felt in love with Hong Kong. So you came in Hong Kong, you were like, oh, this city is so dynamic. And it's true, Hong Kong is so charming when you come here. When you just pass, you're like, oh, that's amazing. The energy, the people running, the business opportunity, the people they would just meet just going down in the bar, you know. You go in the bar, get yourself a, 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 a locally brewed IPA, and you will meet maybe the guy drinking just near you is, is the CEO of a big company, you know, or... Um, is is an investor or is a is a big entrepreneur or you know you will find a lot of interesting people here and yes you can get excited you know um, but but living here is another story some so some people come here and, and and see the whole the whole excitement and they want to come back and live in Hong Kong and open a company in Hong Kong and and start to live here but it's not that simple First, you have to understand one thing is Hong Kong is not a cheap city. So you will need to, <clears throat> if you want to sustain yourself here, if you are, if you are a sizable entrepreneur and you, you get some good revenues and everything, yeah, why not? It's, it's a good place to, to move. Uh, personal tax is, is interesting as well. But again, if you are just starting or if your business start to, to grow slowly, I think there is better jurisdiction for you to stay at the moment because if you live here in a, in a in a in a chicken cage, uh, in in Wan Chai or in 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 Shang Wan and uh, or even in the new territory because you don't have the money to 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 survive um, uh, in in a nice flat etc. It's not easy, especially if you have kids, uh, international schools etc. So there's many things to consider before coming in Hong Kong. Uh, there is there is really a cost to stay here. It's not just the cost. Also, culturally, Hong Kong is not for everybody. So, if you felt felt in love with the city, great. But come here, check, talk to locals, uh, make a proper plan for yourself. Uh, check the visas as well because you cannot just sponsor yourself with the company. You have to go through a scheme called the business investment scheme uh, for for the visa. And we will we will actually invite uh, somebody really soon to talk about the topic on the channel. Uh, but it's not it's not that simple. So you felt in love, great. You like the city, great. Now you can do your homework and think whether Hong Kong is for you or not. But just don't come here like uh, emotionally. It might not be the best idea. So just to wrap it up, there's plenty good reason to come to Hong Kong and I will soon make a video on that, so stay tuned. But, but it's not for everybody and that is not for everybody at every stage. So uh, before coming here, really consider your option, see locally what you can do, uh, think business first and then after, uh, if you really plan to come to Hong Kong, check what are all the requirements. And if you need some help on that, if you want to know uh, how, how, t how you can come here, you know, uh, physically or just open the company and live somewhere else, you can always call Atinesia and we'll help you with all your questions. Uh, but until there, just keep thinking. Uh, and I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely check this video as well. And also don't forget to put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to send us an email at info at And I see you in the next video.